Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today's video is on a compound interest question with a missing rate. So let's get started. Katie invests £2,000 in a saving account for three years. The account pays compound interest at an annual rate of 2.5% for the first year, then X% percent for the second year and X% percent again for the third year. There is a total amount of £2,124.46 in the savings account at the end of the three years. Work out the rate of interest in the second year. So because there's a variable rate, the rate is changing, I'm going to use the year-on-year -year method. So what I'm going to essentially do is increase um, the principal, which was £2,000, by a specific percentage for that year year on year so what i mean by that is for year one at the end of year one the calculation would be two thousand pounds as your principal times one plus two and a half percent so i'll do 2.5 over 100 okay which can also be written as 2000 times 1.025 and that's going to give me the amount at the end of the first year which is 2050 that's the amount for the first year so for the second year I'm going to compound this amount so 2050 times 1 plus x over 100 because the interest rate is x and um, really I don't know what this amount is going to be so I'm going to leave it as it is right and then for year 3 the amount would be 2050 times 1 plus x over 100 from year 2 and then you're going to multiply it by another increase by x percent so 1 plus x over 100 so this because you're multiplying both of these represent the same number so since you're multiplying by the same number you know, 2050 times 1 plus x over 100 squared and well according to the question this represents 2124.46 an amount of that much so we start now solving this equation what we do is first we need to divide both sides by 2050 So left hand side, with, oops, let's fix that. On the left hand side, we are left with 1 plus x over 100 all squared. And that will be equal to 1.0363 okay so the next step um, would be to square root both sides because I want to get rid of that power so I'm going to square root both sides So this will give me, on the left hand side, I'll be left with 1 plus x over 100. And on the right hand side, I'm left with point, a very lengthy number again, 0, 1, 7, 
998994 Okay, the next step would be to subtract 1. It's Let me try that again. Subtract 1 subtract 1 this would then leave me with over 100 and that would be equal to 0 0.01799894 then I'll multiply by 100 both sides and that'll give me my rate to sorry three significant figures it would be 1.80 percent okay hopefully that helps and thank you